live out in Lucas. And okay. so we had moved out there in the 80s. Uh, I have two children. Two children. You have a daughter. Who we're I have a daughter. Right yes. And, and, and I have a son. Okay. Mm-hmm. Where's your son now? Uh, they both live in Allen. So oh. we're very fortunate to have them close. Uh, Great. Four grandchildren. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and they're close, but not too close. That's, That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Long distance. Love Calgary. They have, you know, the famous Calgary Stampede every year. So it's a oh, it's a huge rodeo. They pull people from all over, um, and they celebrate it for a week. Every you go downtown, all the businesses, everybody's dressed like cowboys. I mean, it's it's really um, a, a town town. Celebration, very, very, very. You know, the best of the best show up. You know, you have the horses and you know the the cattle, the the steer wrestling, the whole thing. They have chuck chuck wagon races. That's a that's a big draw. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And did, did you participate, or you were just a viewer? No, we were just a viewer. Just something f- fun, you know, that we enjoyed doing as a family. Great. We lived in London, and we were there for two and a half years. Um, Actually, when we went, we thought we were going to be there longer, um, but we did have the opportunity to travel quite a bit, and again, my children were in school then, so they traveled probably more, you know, than, than my husband and I did. They had lots of opportunities, um, and, you know, it was wonderful. You could, you know, you could vacation in Greece. You could vacation in Italy, and it's just like going to the next state, you know, here in the United States. Everything was so That really, I guess, um, led to my interest uh, more in the culinary world. Um, and I, I had always loved to cook. I grew up cooking. My mom was cook, my grandmother. Um, but while we were there, just traveling around, and you know, I, I think the discovery um, and uh, of all the international cuisines just really piqued my interest. And I really so, got interested in herb gardening, you know, and using fresh ingredients. And then when we came back um, to the states. Um, that was the early 90s, um, went to culinary school and decided uh, that's what I wanted to do. So there's a group of ladies that would go regularly to France and I would hear them talk about it. And there was a particular place um, in southwest of France that they would go to and they offered a cooking school for a week. So I got really interested in that and decided I would do it. And so I did and um, absolutely loved it. I. You know, the mornings we did sightseeing, we'd go to the markets, we'd buy the food. In the afternoon, you know, we did everything from, you know, foie gras, we cooked rabbit, you know, think, uh, we went to a duck farm, saw how they, you know... Um, slaughtered the ducks? Uh, no, <laughs> no, not slaughtered, but, but fed them. friend and I started uh, catering out of our church kitchen, and then a few years later, um, we actually built um, a kitchen out at, um, in back of my house. And um, so I had a commercial kitchen out there that I could work out of. So that worked out beautifully. We did quite a few weddings, but um, gourmet dinners. I really, really enjoyed, you know, planning gourmet dinners. We did banquets. Um, we did a lot of ladies' luncheons, that type thing, um, afternoon tea. By the time I retired, I was kind of winding down, so I had told a lot of people. Of course, I, I, I told them for two years I was going to be retiring, so people teased me and they said, you finally did it, did you? And I said, yes, I finally I did. getting tired. You know, the long days were just kind of wearing on me, and um, my, my husband and I were building a lake house, and, you know, I was just kind of thinking of all the, the, the retirement days ahead and what we could do with our time and looking forward to it. What made you uh, and Allison decide that you wanted to do an antique shop? I think because we love antiques, we really enjoy I love the history of things. I love to know that things were, you know, you know, some people say it's just used stuff. Well, you know, it was used and loved in someone's home usually. And I just love the idea that things have a history, you know. Okay. So that means a lot to me. And so I, I just enjoy that and enjoy um, through the years buying things from my home and um, we do have a lot of antiques, we have a lot of vintage items, but um, along that line um, we decided that we would specialize in uh, farmhouse tables because we, we always like the looks of those. So we decided instead of just um, looking for old, old that we would um, start, uh, we, would, we would talk to a craftsman and see if we couldn't um, recreate something. Um, that looked old. We found someone recently that just does the most beautiful job, and he uses 
reclaimed wood. You know, there's history in this, you know, and a, a lot of the boards, you know, a lot of the boards can be 100 years old, and so I love that part of it. Great. And he does a great job, and we have a great product as a result. Table and chair. Yes. Very clever name. <laughs> That was my daughter. That how did she come daughter. up? With, how did she come up with that very clever name? <laughs> what inspired? That? I don't know how she came up with it, but she did, and I loved it. You know, we're just playing with names, and we said that's that's basically. You know, we had the idea of the farmhouse tables. That was you know a driving force, and then of course you've got to have chairs with tables. You know, and so I just thought that says it all. I just love that. <laughs> so so that was her brainstorm. If you think you have a story to tell, send me an email. But I have to tell you up front, it better be good. I hope you